Hi DIY friends, I have some brand new, never before seen Dollar Tree hacks for you today. I also wanna thank Creative Fabrica for sponsoring today's video and a little bit more about them here shortly. First, I wanna take you inside a Dollar Tree to show you what items we are hacking today. It doesn't take long to fill up a cart at Dollar Tree, but if you grab these few simple items like framed art and cutting boards, I'll show you how to make them look classy and high-end. Remember these flexible cutting mats? We'll be doing some magic with them later on, but first let's turn a seasonal sign into a shadow box by flipping it over, removing the picture hanger, and filling those holes with some Dollar Tree spackle. And here is a great hack. If you use a baby wipe to remove excess spackle before it dries, it'll save us having to sand it down later. And it'll also dry much quicker too. Then we can go ahead and paint our picture frame in our favorite color. This is just regular white chalk paint by the brand Waverly that you can find at Walmart. Then we're gonna head on into this crafter's dream of a website called Creative Fabrica. It is chock full of amazing fonts, graphics, SVG cut files, crafts, patterns, and even classes. I know you're gonna have so much fun like I did going through this website. There's over 4 million digital resources on this site and you can just go crazy with your creativity and it's only $1 for your very first month. I will make sure to have a link down in the description box to make it easy for you to go over, grab this deal, check out this website only for $1. And after that, it's only $19 a month, which is such a great deal and you'll hear why in just a second but that is still 35% off of the original price, which is $29 a month. So make sure to click that link. It's gonna save you a bundle. But the great thing here is you also have no obligations. You can cancel at any time. And this is why this is so invaluable. The subscription comes with a commercial license too. And that means that you can use all of those digital resources for commercial purposes. So if you have an online shop, you can use these designs there as well. For our shadow box project, we're gonna download this Whitewood digital paper pack that comes with lots of great options. Once you click that download button, it'll go into your download folder and then you can work with individual pieces of paper from there. I just opened it up in my photo editing software and printed it right out on some regular printer paper and it's such great quality once it prints. We're gonna take that paper and we're gonna cut it down to size so it'll fit within our shadow box. I love this because I don't have to go to the craft store every time I'm needing a specific style of paper and I can probably find what I need on Creative Fabric. Fabrica. I'm using a tape runner on the back side of my printed scrapbook paper and then adding that to the inside back of the shadow box. Once you have it centered, go ahead and press down firmly to make sure that's not gonna move around on us. And then we can add whatever we want to the inside of this. I found these beautiful butterfly 3D stickers from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. I love this blue one. It's such a pretty pop of color for springtime. So that is what went right in the center of my shadow box. So simple, easy peasy. And who would have ever thought this used to be a St. Patrick's Day sign. Now a beautiful one that you can just display year round. Next, we're gonna make a project that I think everyone can use and is so handy. We're gonna create a calendar station. We're gonna head into Dollar Tree and grab a picture frame. They have so many great options. They even have ones with multi photos that you can add in there. I grabbed this one since it had three spaces and we're gonna take this and we're gonna make it look a little bit more high end. It is so easy to just remove the inside parts of these frames and just work on the frame for this part. We're gonna make it look more high end with the help of some metallic gold spray paint, just going over this a couple coats, letting it dry. It is so hot right now that this literally pretty much dried instantly. So it took less than five minutes to go from black to this beautiful gold. I used a planner set from Creative Fabrica and sort of made this collage and scaled down each one of those pages to fit within that four by six space that I had on the Dollar Tree frames. So a paper trimmer helps a lot when you're working with paper crafts because that will give you nice straight clean lines. 
We're going to take our tape runner and run it around the outside edges of those printables so that they stay in the spaces for us and don't move around. I will make sure to link all the supplies I'm using in today's video down in the description box below to make it easy for you to find there too. Then go ahead, reassemble your frame with the glass, the insert, and the backing. This one even has a little hanger on the back, which makes it nice and handy too. We go to hang it up. And then we're going to use a dry erase marker again from Dollar Tree. It has the eraser on the back and it has a magnet if you have a place that will keep it handy for you to be able to grab. This trio set has my calendar, it has my to-do list, and even a spot for notes. And then I just hung it up right over my desk next to my computer so I have it handy to look at. And it's really easy to just pull it down, write on it when I need to, and put it right back up. And then the eraser on the back of that marker makes it so handy to then be able to just erase and reuse. Now back in Dollar Tree, we're gonna grab one of their plastic cutting boards. They actually have lots of different colors now to choose from, but I picked the traditional white. Creative Fabrica has so many kitchen conversion designs to choose from. I found one that I thought would look pretty on this cutting board and was the right size and scale. Printed it on regular printer paper again. We're gonna take some Mod Podge and Mod Podges right onto the front there. And to do that, it helps to have a foam paintbrush. We're gonna add a layer onto the cutting board, lay the printable right on top there and go over it with some more Mod Podge to seal it in and then let it sit and dry, which usually takes like 30 to 30 minutes to maybe an hour. I added a little bow on the top of this, and this is a cute little decorative piece for your kitchen, but it also makes a great, simple, easy gift idea too. Now, like I said earlier, with Creative Fabrica, there's also so many SVG files. So if you have a vinyl machine or if you're wanting to get one, this is a great resource for finding all of those files. We're gonna transform a bamboo cutting board from Dollar Tree. And this is another version of a conversion chart and a design you can find on their website. I just imported it right into my Cricut Design Space, scaled it down to size, took away the background, welded it all together so it would all cut at the same time, and then sent it over to my Cricut machine to cut. I'm using some plain black matte vinyl. This is my favorite vinyl to cut from. Again, I'll link all this down below. So quick and easy, and then you can just apply your decals right onto your different surfaces. And in this case, it is the bamboo cutting board from Dollar Tree. Once you have your design weeded out, it's going to look like this, really nice, but we now need to transfer it onto our cutting board. We're gonna do that with the help of some transfer tape, and that'll remove it from the paper backing. You'll apply it onto your cutting board, pressing down with a squeegee to transfer it, and then peeling back that transfer tape from the top to reveal your beautiful design. I love this. Vinyl is just amazing. It can take something so simple and really just ramp it up. Another great gift idea or beautiful addition to your kitchen. I love projects like this because they're useful and our next one is to remember I said we're going to do some magic with these chopping mats. Time for that project. This website also has crafts and these acrylic keychain patterns are one of them and we're going to turn the chopping mat into keychains. I decided on these four patterns and cut them out on my vinyl machine on different colored vinyl and weeded all of those out. We're gonna make some awesome, inexpensive, easy keychains with this. So very much similar to the last project, we're gonna use some transfer tape to transfer our design onto the front of our cutting mats. Make sure to rub it down really, really good with your squeegee before removing your transfer tape. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for all of these. And these cutting mats come in a set of two and they're pretty big too. So you could get so many keychains out of just one pack. So imagine the amount of money you'll save creating this hack instead of buying the expensive acrylic blanks that you can get from craft stores and ordering them online. We're gonna cut those out with some scissors. This plastic is pretty thin, so some scissors work great to just go right around the edges. And then there's also a spot at the top where you can punch holes. I couldn't find my regular hole punch. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to get some at Dollar Tree when I'm there next time. 
but I did have this other puncher that worked fine too. Goes through like butter, creates that little hole for us. You can also personalize these adding a monogram or a design and you can find these rings really inexpensively at Walmart. So I will link these down below too. You just slide them right on to the hole in your plastic there and you have a personalized, super inexpensive, easy keychain. I love this. You could decorate these up with beads and tassels too. Wood signs can be pretty pricey, but with the help of this farmhouse sign SVG bundle, we're going to make one with Dollar Tree frame. Super easy and inexpensively. This one, you could use the SVG files to cut vinyl to create this sign, but if you don't have a vinyl machine, it also comes with PNG files, which are files that you can print. With this frame, the backing actually came out and there was a paper coating with the design on it. So I did my best to remove that and then just printed out my design on some thicker cardstock. I didn't want to be able to see the mess that I had left on the backing of this. And then again, using my tape runner, my adhesive tape runner on the backing, applied that printable right onto the top, pressed it down firmly so it didn't go anywhere and it didn't move around. And just like a regular picture frame, this goes right back in, push those tabs down, and in no time at all, you literally have a classy and beautiful home decor piece. I love this, I love the saying, and there were so many different options to choose from with the file that we downloaded from the website. There are lots of cute, cute designs for gift tags on the website too. I fell in love with these strawberries and they are going to work perfectly with these metal gift tags from Dollar Tree. So I printed this out on regular computer paper and to attach them onto the metal tags and dress those up, all you need is some stick glue. You'll put that on the back side of the printer paper and then apply your metal tag on top. The key here though is to line up the edges, kind of hold it up to the light, make sure that the hole lines up too, and then press that down into the glue, let that dry. Once it's dry, this is also a Dollar Tree cutting mat. I'm using that to protect my work surface and then going around the edges with a super sharp X-Acto knife. And I also use the X-Acto knife to remove the hole in the center too. Just that easy to make your own high-end gift tags, ones that you could reuse over and over again, or it becomes kind of a nice reusable gift tag for whoever you're giving it to. Add some fun coordinating ribbon to the top, and then this is just an idea of how to use it. You could use this on a strawberry-themed gift or even on party favors. This next idea is a super fun and easy one too. You can even find kids and adult coloring pages and they have so many different themes, ones that have 100 plus pages so you can download them, pick and choose which ones you want or print them all. This was a set of 10, so I went ahead and printed them all on regular white computer paper, picked up these report covers from Dollar Tree to make my own coloring book. I also used a piece of colored cardstock to go on the front to make this look a little bit more professional looking. And all you do is you insert all your pages into the plastic and run the plastic spine up the back. That will keep all your pages together. We're gonna dress this up just a little bit more. You can find these labels on Creative Fabrica too and print them out on printable vinyl. I'll make sure to link this down below too. And you use this like regular paper. You just run it through your printer and instead of it just being paper, it actually turns it into a sticker. So you can use a vinyl cutter to cut this out, but if you don't have a vinyl machine, you can use scissors and it works just as good. Go around the edges, peel the backing off, and then you can apply that onto the front of your cover and use this idea in so many different ways, whether it's to organize your home bins, uh, your bathroom, your kitchen, cooking supplies, so many different ideas you can use with those labels. Now we're gonna make a key station with this metal tray from Dollar Tree. 
And this is just one of the ways to use the fonts from Creative Fabrica. There are hundreds, probably thousands to choose from. This is one of them. I just printed it out on my vinyl machine and we're gonna apply this decal onto the front of our metal tray. Same concept, using the transfer tape to peel the paper backing away and then move it over onto the top of the tray. Center it really well and then use your squeegee to apply it onto the metal. It transfers easy because it hangs on really tight to that surface. We're gonna pair it with these magnetic hooks, again from Dollar Tree. I love these because you can use these in different places and they're reusable and they're adjustable. So you could add more, move them around, depending on how you want to utilize them. They just grab right on. We're also going to add a little D-ring hook onto the back of this to make it hang. So use some hot glue, centered this on the back there and added some packing tape to reinforce it. We're not gonna be hanging anything too heavy, so this is gonna work great for this project. You can hang it from a hook or a nail or a screw, and then you have the perfect place to hang your keys. I believe this font was the outside font. Such a fun, pretty font, but there are hundreds to choose from. I also seriously love that Creative Fabrica has its own craft section. So if you're at a crafting rut, head over to this part of their website. They have lots of free crafting printables and it comes with everything, including the directions and the design and it tells you where to cut, where to fold, and how to put these together. I fell in love with these little beach huts. There was three different colors to choose from. I chose the blue one. You could do any color you want or all three of them if you want. And I just have fun with this. I'm so into the beachy vibe lately. So I did is just cut this all out, folded it up, use some regular stick glue to put this together. And it was so, so easy. It was basically just the house and the little roof and also some extra little decorative pieces too to really give this some character. If you don't glue the roof on, you could even use these for little favor boxes, which would be so cute for a summertime party. But I love that they have this section on there if you are just stuck in that crafting rut and needing some inspiration. Let me know which one of these projects was your favorite down in the comments below and then head to the description box so you can click on the link and head over to Creative Fabrica Register for only $1 today to get unlimited downloads over there. You are going to love it. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.